Early explorers supposedly heard New Zealand before they saw it. Captain Cook's crew could not sleep on shore because of the deafening noise. Today, that chorus has mostly been silenced by introduced predators like cats, rats and stoats. These predators haven't just silenced the forests, they've decimated bird populations to the point where many species are at serious risk of extinction. A crucial part of saving many of these species lies in their genes. Imagine this is a population of birds. The colours represent genetic diversity. If there is a drastic reduction in population size because of, say, some hungry rats, only a few birds will make it through to the other side of this population bottleneck, and they can't carry all the genetic diversity with them. And it's not just rats and stoats that cause population bottlenecks. When we move birds to sanctuaries like Orokanui in Dunedin, where we are today, we can only move a few individuals, and this creates a secondary bottleneck. The inbreeding that often follows a bottleneck causes a lot of problems. One of the biggest is poor hatching success. We can't fix that problem until we understand exactly what is causing it. And that's where my research comes in. I did my PhD on inbreeding depression in Little Spotted Kiwi and showed that genetic management is key to the effective conservation of this amazing species. Now I study the South Island Robin and the Hihi. I'm trying to figure out whether inbreeding might be causing males in these species to fire blanks. That's right, I'm talking about sperm. It's taken me to some pretty hair-raising places and forced me to get very creative. Getting the sperm is tricky. In most bird species, males don't have a penis. They just have a hole called a cloaca. During mating season, the male's cloaca becomes swollen. By gently squeezing it side to side and back to front, I can collect a small amount of semen. This is the mobile lab I designed to help me measure sperm swimming speed in the wild. We take the sperm sample and put it onto the microscope. And there it's videoed by a camera attached to the microscope and also to a laptop. The software on the laptop measures how fast each sperm is swimming and whether it's swimming in a straight line or round and round in circles. Back at the lab, we take high magnification photographs of individual sperm. We measure them and check for abnormalities like missing heads and shorter than average sperm. All highly inconvenient when you're in a race with millions of other sperm to fertilize an egg. I also take blood samples from all the males back to the lab so that we can extract DNA and examine genetic diversity and inbreeding. I'm still collecting data. When I've finished, I'll be able to determine whether inbreeding really is causing a problem for male fertility in Hihi and South Island Robin. If it is, the next step will be to identify the specific parts of the genome being affected by inbreeding. This will help us to manage these and other threatened species more effectively. Then, just maybe, we can help bring the birdsong back to New Zealand.